Hi guys, I'm Captain Ron, and in this video, I will show you how to calculate the amount of cargo to be loaded on board for the required draft, and to calculate the final draft of a given cargo to be loaded on board. This is the first example in this video. Calculate the amount of cargo to be loaded on board when she is required to complete its loading to its summer load draft, which is 10.10 meters, with an initial draft of 3.30 meters when floating in salt water. I will show you two methods to find the answer to this problem. But first, we need the hydrostatic table. This is the hydrostatic table that I will use in this problem. The data given in this table was developed when the ship is floating on an even keel which means that the ship's forward and aft drafts are the same, with zero trim. So we will assume that the vessel in this problem is floating on an even keel. In this calculation, I disregard the deductible weight such as the remaining water ballast if there is one, the ship's constant, and any deductible weights. The first method is the simplest method. First, extract the value of displacement in salt water for a required draft of 10.10 meters, which is the displacement value is 32,140 tons. Then, extract the value of displacement in salt water for an initial draft of 3.30 meters, in which the displacement value is 9,720 tons. The difference between the two displacement values is the cargo to load, which is 22,420 tons. The second method to determine the cargo to be loaded for the required draft of 10.10 meters when the ship is floating in salt water is. Extract the value of TPC in salt water for the required draft of 10.10 meters, in which the corresponding value is 35.10 tons. Then, extract the value of TPC in salt water for the initial draft of 3.30 meters, in which the corresponding value is 31.48 tons. Next, determine the mean TPC in salt water by adding the value of TPC for the required draft and initial draft, and dividing it by 2. So mean TPC in salt water is equal to 35.10 tons, plus 31.48 tons, divided by 2. The mean TPC in salt water is 33.29 tons. In order to determine the cargo to be loaded to achieve the required draft, we will use the formula for loading or discharging problems, which is sinkage or rise in centimeters is equal to the weight to be loaded or discharged divided by TPC. We use the term sinkage if we load weight and rise if we discharge weight. From the above formula, we can now determine cargo or weight to load is equal to sinkage in centimeters times mean TPC. Since we have already the value of mean TPC in salt water, the next to find is the value of sinkage in centimeters in order to determine cargo to load. To find sinkage, just take the difference of the required draft from the initial draft, then convert the unit from meters to centimeters. So the required draft is 10.10 meters, minus the initial draft of 3.30 meters is equal to sinkage, which is 6.80 meters, or 680 centimeters. Cargo to load now is equal to sinkage in centimeters, which is 680 centimeters, times the mean TPC, which is 33.29 tons. So cargo to load to achieve the required draft of 10.10 meters, using the second method is, 22,637.20 tons. As we can see, there is a difference of 217.20 tons in the answers of method 1 and 2. It is because of the following reasons. First, in method 1, the value of displacement in the hydrostatic tables are rounded off to the nearest whole tons. And the second reason, by using a mean TPC in method 2, it is assumed that the value of TPCs are changes linearly between the drafts concerned, which is not. Because the real underwater shape of the vessel does not change uniformly with the draft. So it means that the greater the amount of cargo to be loaded or discharged, will also have a greater change in drafts, in which the result will have a greater difference in the answers between the two methods. Now the big question is. Which method gives a more accurate answer? We will see in the next problem, which method will give a more accurate answer. For the second example, calculate the ship's final displacement and mean draft after loading 20,780 tons of cargo. The ship is floating in salt water 
and has an initial draft of 3.60 meters. So in this problem, I will use two methods to find the answer, just like what I did in my previous example. But this time, using two different methods will show us which method gives the more accurate answer for the previous example, and for this particular problem. We still need a hydrostatic table for this particular problem. The first method is, extract the value of displacement in salt water, for the given initial draft of 3.60 meters, in which the displacement value is 10,660 tons. To find the final displacement, add the cargo to be loaded, which is 20,780 tons, and the initial displacement which is, 10,660 tons, so the final displacement is, 31,440 tons. To determine the final mean draft, find the value of the final displacement in the hydrostatic table which is, 31,440 tons, then determine the corresponding value of draft in the first column of the table. So the ship's final mean draft is 9.90 meters. 9.90 meters is the ship's mean draft after loading 20,780 tons of cargo. For the second method, extract the value of TPC in salt water for an initial draft of 3.60 meters, which is 31.58 tons. Then extract the value of TPC in salt water for the final displacement. To find the final displacement, just add the initial displacement and cargo to load, and the final displacement is 31,440 tons. So the corresponding value of TPC in salt water is 34.96 tons. Then determine the mean TPC, which is equal to the value of TPC in salt water, at an initial draft of 3.60 meters, in which the TPC is 31.58 tons, plus the TPC in salt water during her final displacement, in which the TPC value is 34.96 tons. Then the sum will be divided by 2, so the mean TPC in salt water is 33.27 tons. Next, we will determine how many centimeters will be increased in the draft after loading 20,780 tons of cargo. The formula is, sinkage in centimeters is equal to cargo to load divided by the mean TPC in salt water. So sinkage in centimeters is equal to 20,780 tons. This is cargo to be loaded divided by 33.27 tons, which is the mean TPC in salt water. The answer is 624.59 centimeters or 6.246 meters. This is now the increase in the draft after loading 20,780 tons of cargo. To determine the final draft after loading, just add the sinkage to the initial draft. So the initial draft is 3.60 meters plus the sinkage or increase in draft after loading, which is 6.246 meters. The final draft after loading 20,780 tons of cargo is 9.846 meters. So we can see that there is also a difference in the answers of the first and second methods. But it is clear now that the first method, which is extracting directly the value of displacement and the corresponding required draft, will give a more accurate answer to this example and to my previous problem. So I will recommend using the first method in solving this kind of problem. I will now proceed to my next example. The next example is, calculate the amount of cargo to be loaded on board when the ship is required to complete its loading to a maximum draft of 9.80 meters in dock water, with a relative density of 1.013. The ship arrived in berth with an initial draft of 4.70 meters. I will use only the first method in finding the answer to this problem since it gives a more accurate answer and less work compared to the second method. The first step to do is to extract the displacement value in salt water for the initial and final drafts. We need a hydrostatic table to extract the required data. So the displacement value in salt water for the initial draft of 4.70 meters is 14,160 tons. And the displacement value in salt water for the final draft of 9.80 meters is 31,090 tons. If the ship is floating in salt water, we will just take the difference between the initial and final displacement to determine the cargo to load. 
But in this case, the ship is floating in dark water. So we need to make some corrections to find the ship's actual displacements. Next, we will determine the ship's actual displacement when she is floating in dark water, with a relative density of 1.013, at an initial draft of 4.70 meters. And this is the formula in finding displacement in dark water. So displacement in dark water is equal to displacement in salt water, which is 14,160 tons, times relative density of dark water, which is 1.013, divided by the relative density of salt water, which is 1.025. So the ship's actual displacement when she is floating in dark water with a relative density of 1.013, at an initial draft of 4.70 meters is 13,994.22 tons. Next, we will determine the ship's actual displacement when she is floating in dark water for the final draft of 9.80 meters. We will use the same formula as mentioned above. So displacement in dark water is equal to displacement in salt water. For the final draft of 9.80 meters, which is 31,090 tons, times the relative density of dark water, which is 1.013, divided by the relative density of salt water, which is 1.025. So the ship's actual displacement when she is floating in dark water with a relative density of 1.013 for the final draft of 9.80 meters is 30,726.02 tons. For our final step, we will just take the difference of initial and final displacement in dark water, just subtract lesser from greater. So displacement in dark water for the final draft of 9.80 meters is 30,726.02 tons minus the displacement in dark water for the initial draft of 4.70 meters which is 13,994.22 tons is equal to cargo to be loaded to reach the maximum draft in dark water which is 16,731.80 tons. I will not show you the second method of calculating the amount of cargo to be loaded, since it is clear in my previous example that the first method gives a more accurate answer. And as I said before, I recommend to use this kind of method. That's all for now guys, I hope that you've learned something in this video. Thank you for watching.